So I was sitting here cleaning a book and I realized that this is probably content that I could use from the store. So I am going to walk you through and do a little time lapse of me cleaning up an ex library book that's nothing special, but with a little TLC will be um, a really great addition to somebody's library. So um, here it goes. The adhesive remover that I use is called Undo. I love the name. And I get it from the library store and it's framing adhesive remover. Um, so I sometimes use Goo Gone, but if there is a surface that is porous, and you'll see by the book jacket in a second, um, I use this because it doesn't um, leave a greasy residue. Okay, so we have um, this awesome book called McBroom and the Beanstalk by Sid Fleischman. And as I said, it's ex library. So it's got some stuff. Uh, namely, after I took it out of its really old, gross plastic sleeve, you can see that the sleeve was pasted down to the end papers and then unceremoniously ripped off. So these I, I can't fix, but I, I can get some of the, it's a little tacky, like old rubber cement. I can get some of that off. Then the really sad part is this beautiful dust jacket. You can see the residue from the end papers and I already got the got it off up here mostly. And I'm gonna show you how I get it off of here. Um, it's really, I think it's literally just old rubber cement. So it smells a little insane in here. Um, but I'm gonna go gently and you'll see me using cotton balls and my undo. Um, and I have the fan running because um, the undo smells horrific and I might be high by the time I'm done with this. Okay, so um, here goes. Let's clean up McBroom and the Beanstalk. jacket. The flaps are much cleaner. They look pretty normal. You know, a little worse for wear. Um, and some of you might be like, but Nell, that book isn't worth a whole lot because it's, you know, so why are you taking the time? Uh, I'm taking the time for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is because I love books and I think that they all deserve every chance that they can get. Um, the second is that this is really good practice for me um, for cleaning up books in general. Um, I would never, ever, ever um, use like a Cricut spatula knife on a rare antique book without supervision. Um, I follow the Bainbridge Cons team and they're amazing. Um, and I would be embarrassed to show them this work, but it's really good practice. And now good old McBroom can go to a new home um, and have still the ghost of its life in the library. Um, but be a little bit cleaner and um, ready for its next its next chapter, if you will. Um, I hope that was cool. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of those or if you have questions. Um, but thanks for cleaning up a library book with me.